What's going on, church fam? It's Church Life bringing y'all another video. So, I've been saved for over 10 years now. Have I lived a saved life for the entire time of those 10 years? No. I've backslid more times than you can count. But I continue to put my life in the hands of God as I continue to follow Lord Jesus. And what happened was this. God continued to work on me. He continued to change things about my life. He continued to change my appetite that I had for the world. And he quenched that hunger through my faith and dedication that I have with Christ. So today, I want to remind somebody, whoever sees this video, to have patience with yourself. Even if you backslide, even if you make mistakes, even if you say certain things that you don't mean, continue to show up because God is not done with you yet. He's going to continue to work on you, but you got to continue to show up. Don't give up on the middle of the journey. Everything you're going through right now is attached to your testimony. And we got to make foolish mistakes in order to gain the wisdom of God. See, you gain wisdom when you learn from your mistakes. But at the beginning, it's going to be times you mess up. See, even though I'm a saved believer, there's still times when those intrusive thoughts try to enter into my mind. But I cast them out immediately in the name of Lord Jesus. See, where we mess up at, at times is we entertain the thought. When you entertain it, the longer you hold on to that thought, the more likely you are to bring that thought into your own reality until you start living that mindset. The point I'm trying to make is this. Come as you are. Don't try to fix yourself before you come to the Heavenly Father because he's going to work on you the more you trust him. See, the more I live for the Heavenly Father, the more I wanted to live in the spirit instead of the flesh. There's things I used to struggle with and the Heavenly Father helped me through it. And it's because I continue to show up. And it made me want to set my mind on heavenly things that's above and not beneath. God taught me how to live in the spirit instead of the flesh. I remember the first job I worked was as a court attendant at Sam's Club, and I gave it all I had. I worked hard every day. And one day I was offered a promotion to work in the meat department, and I accepted that promotion because it was more money. So when I got back there, they trained me how to do the stuff up there. And what was hard about this job was this. After they cut the ribeyes and, you know, different products and stuff like that, what I would have to do was wrap it and label all the product for the prices and all that kind of stuff. And you had to learn a whole bunch of codes. So as I continued to work in this new promotion, this new opportunity, I was getting a little bit nervous because I didn't know how to do it. I thought I couldn't do it because it was so many codes that you had to learn. I thought I just couldn't do it. But instead of giving up, I kept showing up. I kept going. And one of the guys back there in the meat department, they showed me that, look, you can look at this book, you know. All you got to do is read, you know, the name, because the name of whatever the product was, was right there beside the code. So I just kept doing it. And over the course of time, I learned how to do it. But if I would have gave up, I wouldn't have never gained that new skill set. And I wouldn't have known how to operate in this new position. So, basically what I'm trying to say is this. You might start off not knowing nothing. It might be difficult for you to be a follower of Christ. But if you come as you are, instead of trying to fix yourself, God is going to change things about you because of your faithfulness. 
See, faithfulness means to be trustworthy. But here's the thing. You might make mistakes at the beginning, but don't allow that to stop you from showing up. Because I continue to show up for that new position, eventually I got it down pat and I was able to operate at my highest level. So have patience with yourself. In every single thing we must do in life, we must have patience. That's why it's a virtue. Don't beat yourself up because you didn't get it right the first time. See, although I'm saved, there's been times I messed up. There's been times I made mistakes. But the more you dedicate your life to the Heavenly Father, the more you will gain the power to resist the devil. For if you resist the devil, he shall flee. Don't entertain the thought of messing up. Because if you entertain that thought, you're more likely to continue to mess up. Simply because you continue to carry the wrong mindset. Let God work on you. That's really what I'm trying to say. God got you. Cast your cares upon the Lord for he cares for you. He loves you. So keep showing up. I pray this video bless you. In Jesus name. Amen. I love y'all.